the CDC cave to cruise industry leaders yesterday, saying they may allow cruising this summer. Full details when we come back, right after this. Welcome back, before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And for the latest breaking cruise travel news, join our text news service. It's totally free. Just text the word, cruise, to 305-574-9213. As you know, cruising has been on an extended pause due to coronavirus since early 2020. Responding to pressure from the industry and political stakeholders, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, may be open to lifting or modifying its conditional sailing order, CSO, as soon as this summer, according to a Bloomberg report on Tuesday afternoon. The report cites a CDC spokesperson that said the agency's goal aligns with the desire to resume passenger operations in the United States expressed by many major cruise ship operators and travelers, hopefully, by midsummer with restricted revenue sailings. The statement comes after Carnival Cruise Lines threatened to move operations out of the United States, joining other cruise lines in circumventing the CDC's conditional no-sale order. Carnival, who touts itself as America's cruise line, has been hesitant to announce moving sailings out of the U.S. In a statement, prior to the CDC's announcement, Christine Duffy, the president of Carnival Cruise Line said, quote, while we have not made plans to move Carnival Cruise Line ships outside of our U.S. home ports, we may have no choice but to do so in order to resume our operations which have been on pause for over a year. Duffy added, we appreciate the continued patience and support from our loyal guest, travel advisors and business partners as we work on a return to service solution. She went on to say we remain committed to working with the Biden administration and the CDC to find a workable solution that best serves the interest of public health. It was unclear what will come next, but many in the industry expect the CDC to now issue new guidelines covering ship capacity restrictions, quarantine regulations and onboard protocols. Several cruise lines announced that they look forward to cruising this summer. Yesterday, Norwegian Cruise Lines announced that they intend to have their first sailing on July 4, 2021. Unconfirmed, leaked information suggests that the CDC will conditionally lift their no-sail order in mid-July, allowing cruise lines to sail on a limited basis. So that's today's news, it looks like cruising from the United States is one step closer to sailing this summer. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you think cruising will return over the summer? Lastly, did you know we are planning the most amazing group cruise ever? Join us as we sail on the Carnival Glory for Carnival's 50th anniversary. We will be sailing for 8 days from New Orleans to Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Montego Bay, Jamaica. Because this is Carnival's 50th anniversary celebration, the Glory will be bringing celebrating the old days of cruising, bringing back many things they have cut back over the years. They are even planning a multi-ship meetup at sea something you don't want to miss. Along with Carnival's activities, group guests can expect some amazing, one-of-a-kind welcome gifts, free ship tour, private parties, with drinks included, and lots of exclusive group activities, all included in the price of the cruise. If you are only planning one cruise in 2022, this is the event you don't want to miss. Space is limited. Book now at www.cruisingwithsal.com. Oh yay, if you have a COVID-canceled cruise, we can move your funds and onboard credit to the group. See you on board.